Hi there, Alberto Savoia here, author of The Write It, Why So Many Ideas Fail and How to Make Sure Yours Succeed. People ask me, Alberto, you teach several techniques for validating that an idea is something that the market actually wants, something that people would actually use. What is your favorite techniques? Well, I describe several of them in the book, but if I had to pick a personal favorite, favorite it would be the Pinocchio technique. So if you recall, Pinocchio is the puppet that wanted to be a real boy. So a wooden puppet that wanted to be a real boy. And through the power of his imagination, he became uh, the real boy. At least that's how vaguely I remember the story. Now, how do we apply this to validate a product idea? To make sure that we're going to build a product that's worth, uh, worth our while for us and that the market is interested in. Well, one of the key aspects is if you have an idea for a product, the first thing you want to make sure is that you would actually use it. So let me tell you an idea that I had a few years ago and how I used prototyping to test it and the surprise, how things actually uh, turned out. So let's wind back the clock a, a few years to uh, a time where a relatively new company called Sonos came up with this amazing sounding uh, little uh, speaker. This is the Sonos one. So I was a big fan of Sonos. I bought several. In fact, I had the opportunity to teach one of my workshops at the company. And the Sonos was an amazing machine for making music. There was one little problem. In order to get it to play, I had to pull out my phone and open the phone, open the app, select what I wanted to play. So, you know, between the time I thought I would like to listen to some Led Zeppelin and the time that uh, I was playing some Led Zeppelin, it took a little bit longer than I wanted. I know we're very spoiled. So I thought at the time, especially uh, after the workshop at Sonos, where we came up with a lot of uh, ideas to pursue, I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could just tell it, Sonos, play me some Led Zeppelin. And I thought, well, it sounds great in my mind, as I call it in the book, it sounds great in Thoughtland. Would I actually use it? How would I use such a device? So I decided to build a prototype, a non-functioning version of this idea, and then to pretend, just like Pinocchio pretended to be a, little, a real boy, that the idea would work. So here are the key ingredients. First of all, I started with a can of Pinto beans, uh, Trader Joe's organic Pinto beans, highly recommended, by the way. So, that, so I took this can of beans and just to make it look a bit more realistic, I took some duct tape and I covered it with black duct tape. And what I had, uh, what I came up with was this. So this was my prototype for a smart speaker. I called it HAL, as in the 2001 a Space Odyssey uh, movie. And you can see I kind of drew a little microphone, I drew a little speaker, some buttons on the top for the volume, for, uh, for muting and for stop listening. And then what did I do? So clearly this doesn't do anything. It's a can of beans. Uh, but I put it in uh, several locations. Like I thought, where would I want this? I would want one in my study, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen. So I put it in the room and then I pretended as if it worked. So if I felt the urge to listen to some Led Zeppelin, I would say, uh, Hal, play me some Led Zeppelin. Of course, the Pinto beans did not respond. You know, I would have checked out in a mental institution if they had, but I knew that I would be using it. And so as I went through the day, I kind of kept track uh, in a notebook of how many times I would actually use such a device and what I would use it for. So it turns out I would ask it to play music. I would ask it to give me the, the, the news. I would ask it for the weather. I would ask to translate ounces into uh, grams and so on and so forth. So I ran this experiment for a few days and at the end of these few days, I became convinced that I would love to have such a device. In fact, I would love to have three devices, one in the kitchen, as I mentioned, one in the bedroom where I could set the alarm clock or go to sleep uh, with music and one in my study where I could ask it for news or uh, whatever. So this way I did not yet validate that the market would be interested in it, but I took a very important first step to prove at least to myself that I would like such a device, that I would use it and what I would use it for, which would inform my decision of what features to build into it. So fast forward a couple of years, and let me tell you, I was delighted when I saw the first Amazon Echo and I had nothing to do with the Echo, but I must say it was a beautiful coincidence that it looked a lot like my can of beans. Now, because I had the data, what I call it in the book Yoda, your own data, I knew that I would use it. Like many things that we buy, we don't end up 
using it, I don't know, like a bread machines, for example. Uh, I knew that this device, if I had it, uh, I would use it. So I put an order for three Amazon Echoes as soon as I came out, and when they came out, I put them in the three places that I thought I would use them, and guess what? I used them exactly as I thought I would. So I collected data through the simple trick of taking an inanimate object and through the magic of the Pinocchio prototype, pretend that it existed and interacting with it using my imagination, filling in with my imagination how I would use it. So this is an example of a uh, Pinocchio prototype. There are many, many more examples in the book. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll come back for another episode soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.